can't reduce our army because our army is like our for our sword, you know, and that's where the whole name of the king of the sword, the sword is because the king is army. The king's army is his sword in battle in life, right? Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. The longer you live, the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility. Hello, anime fans. Hey, welcome to Moderate's Corner. Um, and your host, Andrew. This is Nick, your host as well. And we're just coming together and we're talking with y'all a little bit about Vinland Saga, chapter 75 in the manga, episode 11 in the sh series right now for season two. And it's called A King and His Sword. So this one is a very good. Um, it's a, it, it has some pretty good hits notes in there. Uh, some life lessons. We found a little story. So I'm going to give you a really quick recap. After that, me and Nick, we're going to discuss our thoughts on the episode. And uh, once again, we'd love to enjoy your thoughts and your uh, comments. So please share them below in the comments below. And we happy, happy to have a discussion with you. But we open up our scene in Denmark in Jutland Peninsula Jelling, King Harold's Manor, October. October of 1018 and we're opening up in a scene they're fighting they have a middle circle uh a princess comes out and she says oh man who's this what's happening out there and uh, one of her servants girls says it's your brother clute uh, you know he's really getting uh fighting and his skills are really improving so it shows clute all clad in armor heavy set armor and he's basically training training with the, one of the uh, his royal guard his high uh, commander of the royal guard and that's a pretty good action scene man i mean they're going at it they're going back and forth uh slashing the hill uh his uh, guard has a stoic look on his face while clute is just banging away with his sword and trying to move so he's doing some pretty impressive stuff and uh so He's swerving, getting out of the way. He's dodging, he's parrying and everything. And, uh, well, basically, uh, you know, they're, uh, his sister's like, he really needs to stop because he's going to hurt himself. And then, uh, you know, one of uh, that his main servant, he uh, walks up and he starts talking to her and says, you know, hey, what's going on? How's everything going? And she's like, my brother, he's sparring right now. And, uh, you know, Clute's uh, right hand, like I'm going to call him the, uh, you know, the right hand of the king. Uh, so he's like, basically, yeah, that's good. You know, he doesn't want to seem like he's weak in front of his men. Remember, only Nordic people follow strong leaders. So, you know, he has to present himself, not only that his guards, are watching but as well as his uh his enemies are seeing what kind of man he is so we see everybody just staring and looking and a clute is like slashing and hitting the shield and man he's getting wore down fast so he retreats and you know bangs up against the wall and his uh you know guard is his top guard is basically saying your highness how bad of a habit of retreating of or when you get fatigued he goes retreating in battle shall only prolong the fight therefore tiring one out is even more uh effective so you know basically he's telling clue like hey you know you gotta you gotta stand strong always go forward never going backward never retreating uh but clue is not also he's physically strong but he's also mentally and he's smart too he has a very inquisitive mind and he's like yeah i get you he goes you know retreating is bad but sometimes you got to sit back look back and watch what the course is going to do and he's like his uh um you know his separate guy is like huh what and he goes man you know she's looking at us right now watching us all right you like that don't you and he's like man i ain't gonna fall for your tricks again and uh so his servant uh his high guard turns his head just every slightly just to look over like to i guess the servant girl or the princess whichever one and uh because he didn't say like you know she says she so he didn't really release who it was so clute throws his shield he uh so guys catches it and then bam he got some you know, he uh, he puts some uh, sword next to his neck and he says, all right, your highness, I concede you win the match. And everybody's like, oh, you know, jelting and yelling. And man, Clute is just taking this huge breath of relief out, man. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe this fight's over. Right. And everybody is like, man, he did good. He lost. 
He's fought him five times, and today was the fifth time he won this battle. So everybody's really excited. Everybody's saying he's really shaping up. He's becoming a king, um, you know. And uh, but uh, what he you know kind of leads to like how Clute fights, right? In not only in battle, but like uh, how he fights a mental game as well as trickery too. Because remember, he's poisoned a ton of people. He's poisoned the king of England. He's poisoned his brother. It's it's rumored that he poisoned his father. You know, so he, like he plays by dirty hand, but at the same time, he tries to back it up with some strong hands as well. But hey, this is you know the blood royal family fights. You know, this is the way they fight. You know, not always times it's done on the battlefield. It has to be done in secret. So everybody's getting excited. Everybody's all going. But you know, his uh, main servant, and I'm gonna get his main servant's name one day. But his main servant calls him and say hey man we got some business in the back i got all the documents you wanted what we're gonna do so they basically get together to start talking about talking about imposing onto the rich onto the not rich but they started posing onto the the riches of the land like hey we're about three thousand pounds in debt every single day so we need to raise taxes on everybody well, uh, you know, clues like we can't raise taxes on everybody because, you know, we're already taxing England. If we tax Denmark, for sure, we're going to lose our army. And, uh, you know, his main guy is like, yes, I understand. But you got to understand uh, your if you do that, then we have to if you don't raise the taxes on Denmark, then we have to reduce our army. And he's like, man, we can't reduce our army because our army is like our for our sword, you know, and that's where the whole name of the king of the sword, the sword is because the king is army. The king's army is his sword in battle in life right so that being said he says well the only thing we can do and this is kind of controversial but we're gonna have to start uh con confiscating lands of uh, you know basically people in denmark to hold their lands hostage against them so that we could feed our army and basically make wealth off of it sell their product and he goes it's a long game not a short game right and uh you know his servants like man your highness man tell you the truth don't want to do that you're going to confiscate people's land you're going to get pissed off a lot of people so he's like you know hey we got to do what we got to do because you know what i'm the king so got to make those taxes and we can't tax them outright because they're going to start leaving mm -hmm. so that being said we get to our old favorite man katil katil shows up and he's like what man you're the king died <laughs> like ain't nobody told me harold died and he's like and his son is like yeah man he died on your way over here he goes so when you sent me the letter like he died the day i said <laughs> he's like pretty much that's what it means that he died on your way over here you know so he's like ah oh, man so he's sitting on the dock defeated and he's like Man, I got three boatloads of good, high quality uh, gifts that I was gonna give to the highness, and his dad and his son is like, "Oh, that's good, man." But he's like, "You know, I don't know what you're gonna do with them." <laughs> and so uh, he starts to think for a minute. Katil's like, "Okay, so I can break down Harold's. All of Harold's relationships are gone. I have to build a new relationship with the new king, Clue." Uh, so he's like, "Okay." Uh, his son is basically like, "Hey, um, I'm the acting servant of the king. I'm his on his royal guard. I can ask him to meet with y'all, but you know, we'll see what happens." So he's like, "Hey, um, call your brother. Where's your brother at?" You know, he tells his son, "You know, where's your brother at?" He's like, "I don't know. He's doing some tall foolery in town," and he's like, "Okay, all right." And uh, so his son basically uh, calls a meeting and everything. So. Now we go into the court, uh, into the market. Everybody's uh, chilling around. All of a sudden, we hear two people arguing, and it's uh, basically Omen. He's arguing with uh, 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 some boy, and he's like, "Hey, man, you dirty my, uh, you know, you basically bump into me. You maybe drop my goods. They are dirty, you know. Like, what are you gonna do to repay me?" Uh, then uh, Omen like thinks he got the biggest, you know, what cojones in the whole village, right? So he's like, man, who are you talking to me, servant boy? And he's like, uh, Omen doesn't realize that they're not in Katil's land. They're uh, here in England where people don't respect them and will kill him in the moment, right? <laughs> so he doesn't understand that. You know, it's the whole rich boy mentality. He doesn't know he's not in the rich area no more, right? So this dude is like, what are you talking about, dude? He goes, you know, he's like, I'm not trying to swindle you, man. You dropped my goods. They fell into the muddy water. Now I need retribution. And uh, so 
Uh, he's about to wind up, about to punch Omen in the face, and Omen whoops out his sword and basically looking around like, oh, my, you know, like, I'm bad with my sword. I could kill you. And everybody looking around, I'm like, hey, man, like, he drew his sword? <laughs> like, everyone's, like, really confused at the situation. And uh, so he's like, and the uh, little dude is like, hey, man, that's not fair. I don't have a sword. And then he's like, oh, fair. You know, and then they do this, this, this classic anime thing man he like montage out of the store gets his comb out combs his hair like he's mr too bad and he's like ready to like i'm gonna take you out and he's like this is real life man we don't fight what's fair we fight right and it, uh and then hears his voice in the back and he's like uh you know he goes, uh, just who bought you that sword? That's one thing you need to ask yourself. And then he like, and it shows his hand because in his mind, in Omen's mind, he's holding the sword gallantly, right? Like yeah. he's holding it with this conviction. But then they show like the actual photo of what's happening, and he's holding it with a like almost like a limp wrist, right? <laughs> and it's like he's holding it upside down, limp wrist, like it's like totally non you know not a way you want to hold your sword at all and it shows his father could tell his father's like man you fool boom and knocks him out of the way and he's just like hey man just you know just back up so he hand him the he hand him a bag of gold and basically tells his son like uh tells the little boy like hey uh tells the young man i should say little boy but young man like here here's the gold it should be well enough to compensate your girl your goods and he goes um and then out of the background we hear somebody say uh hello are you gonna give him his change <laughs> and and uh so it comes out uh it turns out to be uh lee uh leif erickson and we know Leif Erikson from season one. He was actually the dude who was teaching Thorfinn, uh, you know, a lot of things about fishing as well. He was a good friend of his father. So that being said, you know, uh, we see a familiar face, you know. And uh, so that ends that scene right there. And then we go into the next scene and they're uh, basically eating. They're having a little bit of supper and he's telling them, hey, you know, uh, explaining the situation why they're there a little bit and then he's like hey this is thorfinn and uh he's like oh thorfinn that's interesting you know i have a i have a, somebody i know is thorfinn now working on my land right now and uh so erickson sort of stops and like pauses and like oh you do interesting he's like is he blonde hair does he look like this boy right here and he's like um, okay yeah and he goes well is he a slave too and he's like well, yeah, he's like, yeah, he's a slave too. And he's like, oh, I didn't even tell you. Uh, Katil's like, I didn't even tell you he was a slave. And he's like, yeah, he was like, I kind of figured he was like, um, you know, Thorfinn, he's from, is he from Iceland? And does he look like he's a, you know, warrior? And he's like, well, he's like, really not even, uh, you know, I, I know he's from Iceland, but I don't know if he's a warrior, but I noticed a lot of scars on his body. So yeah, I have to assume he's been in some battles. That being said, he's like, oh man. So uh, he's like, I've been searching for him everywhere. And they're like, oh, okay, well, that's nice and everything. He's He's like, well, that being said, you know, um, let me introduce myself. You know, uh, I've been looking for him and everything, Thorfinn, and, you know, I know his father and stuff. So they sort of like end it there. And uh, we go into the next scene there um, in the uh, Clute's cabin. So they got the meeting with Clute. It's the next day. And they're like, basically, hey, you know, um, we got the meeting with Clute and everything. That's great. How do I'm not even sure how you got it in one day. You know, um, you must have a lot of influence. Kill Till's telling his son. And his son, Thorkin, is like, nah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm a guard, but I don't even know how he wanted to see you so fast, you know? And he's like, yeah, but he's like, hey, you know, that's a good thing, though, you know, because we really needed we really needed him to see us. Right. So they get into uh, the uh, chamber room. They're kneeled down. They're, uh, uh, you know, Katil, uh, Klute's telling Thorkin, uh, Klute's telling Katil, hey, man, thank you very much for your stuff. It was excellent. But, hey, um, you know, you know, thank you for your goods. Everything's going to run smoothly. I'm going to do things like my father and my brother did. So don't worry about the relationships. We're going to honor all that. Right. But they have an ulterior to motive. And the motive is basically to 
to take control of Katil's land. The same thing his father had said. So we'll get into more of that in just a minute. But that being said, uh, out of nowhere, Omen jumps up, pulls his sword and said, I want to be part of your service. And man, they were like, oh my God, man. Katil's like grabbing the Omen by the hair and like, hey man, you idiot, man, what are you doing? And his brother's just like, oh my God, don't make me slash you down right here in front of my, our king, right? So he's like, oh my God. So uh, they're like, okay, uh, he basically jumps up, you know, he says he wants to be part of the army. They bring out a pig and they say, hey man, show us what you got, right? They go, okay. So Omen goes at it with the thing and it turns out, man, he's, he's, you think you hear all the screaming and like he's killing bloody murder, man. And they show him man, he's there trying to saw the uh, pig in half. And they're like, uh, basically they're like, mm, okay, I'll let you know our decision later. Like a whole little montage thing there. And it was really funny. So uh, basically there was like a hell no. Right. But uh, their alternative motives, like I said, in the background, they have alternative motives and the motives is basically to hold up. Uh, uh, you know, his son hostage uh, and basically right back to Katil. Basically, once they hold his son hostage as a, 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 a member of the, you know, clan, basically probably what's going to happen is saying that, you know, we have your son. Uh, we'll put him in the front lines of battle. Uh, if you don't start, you know, sending us all your goods, you know, basically working your land, like half your land is going to go to the crown. The other half you can keep. And of course, no man can survive off of that. Right. And they're like, hey, you know, or or we're going to put him in the back with us. He'll be safe. And, you know, you send us your stuff and we're good to go. You know, so you have two options. You're going to do it nicely or we're going to hold your son hostage. So I'm, I'm speculating once again, I don't know the fact, but this is pretty much how things went back then. So, you know, it's safe to say that something like that may happen. Right. So that's the end. Uh, it ends with that. Uh, but other than that, it was uh, very good. Um, it was a lot of stuff moving forward. We get a little glimpse of the past of who you know these people are. Uh, so it was very fun to see uh Erickson come into the sway now, so we know he's there. Uh, also, on top of that, we get a little insight of what Clute is trying to plan and what his uh mission statement is going to be for going on. Um, basically, he needs to feed his army. Uh, but Nick, uh, did I miss anything? Did you catch anything that I missed out there? Uh, not pretty much. I mean, you explained it about a uh, princess watching them fight his sister and then moving into the story of Thorfinn of how Leif is basically going to go and look for him again in the season mm -hmm. and then going into um, Omar basically uh, going into Canute's army. But for what we know is Canute's biggest plan of getting a... Uh, Katil's uh what's it called um land land yeah yeah, farm. yeah. yeah. and then basically that's what his father told him his father said don't keep more land than what you can farm yourself is basically what he said and the reason why he said that was because to guard his son in the matters of the king at one day may not be now you know it may not be 10 years and it may have been 20 years, but the king will come for the land, you know, because you are the biggest landowner in the country, you know, and all of Denmark. So he's like, that day will come and the day is yeah. coming that they need. They're going to basically take his <clears throat> land. And that's, you know, unfortunately, that's what happened. Uh, that's what's going to happen, you know. So uh, but um, I, I like the uh, sense that now Erickson is on his way to find uh, Thorfinn to give him basically, I guess, an update on his mom and his sister because his mom and his sister are still lingering out there. You know, uh, yeah. it's kind of funny how whenever uh, um, whenever um, um Oh dang, I forgot his name. Elkson. Um, uh, Elkson uh basically asked them, like, hey, what do you what, after this when you're free? What are you gonna go do? You know, like mom and dad, or his mom and sister didn't roll off his tongue, you know. But I guess he left the age of six, so you know, like yeah. uh, you know, it's a strangers by then, right? So <laughs> that that's what it's so but I thought when they showed that little boy uh Thorfinn his name is Thorfinn yeah. right I thought they showed I thought that was going to be his brother like you know like a brother and uh it turned out it wasn't a brother it was just a uh another slave that he found that looked just yeah. like 
Thor Finn, right? Yeah. And uh, but yeah, so I thought I thought it was gonna be a, a brother that was gonna be like a long lost brother or something like that. And uh, you know, but look, they're out of sequence on the manga now. Like they show like uh that portion of them in the the hut, right, with Clute, and then that portion of them eating food. That's like a totally, totally different areas i don't even think it's like uh I, I searched through the manga a few chapters and i didn't even see that one through uh, the next like five chapters six chapters those two conversations right so the all the i don't know if we can say this on youtube but all the badassery right mm -hmm. they just rode over all of that like i don't know if they're going to show it in the next episode or in the episode after but there's like a lot of badassery, dude. Like a lot of fighting. Like the the this uh the one like right the one seventy five right and then there's uh mon ch chapter seventy six right. It's called Escape Slave, and it, it's just this dude just going ham on all these people. Like he's he's an escaped slave and he's just murdering people left and right. Like they just skipped over all the action. I'm I now convinced. They don't want us to see action. They they just they just flat out don't want us to have action. I was reading, I saw this YouTube today over this manga. Like uh the guy who goes, um, uh, it was like Villain Saga season two, the misunderstood manga. It's not action, it's not about action. Uh Villain Saga is not about action. I almost jumped in the my 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 thing and almost strangled his neck because I was like, what are you talking about? Did we not see the same season one? Were we not watching the same manga or the same anime? It, like, what is going on with these people, man? It's, it's, it's like it's completely, completely out of tune. They're content now with what they're getting. Yeah. And it, 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 to me, I mean, it's the same people that made Attack on Titans. When you would talk about Attack on Titan, they would attack you. Oh, man, this is, you know, this is the greatest thing ever. It's like, okay, calm down. Like, it's an opinion. But <laughs> for some reason, this anime can do no wrong to them. And it's like, I get, I gave you credit. Character development's great. We're seeing a yin and yang thing. I'm giving you the credit. But give us action. Also, you can feed both sides of, of your anime and push it because we've already said it once april comes nobody's gonna be talking about vinland saga there's gonna be so many other animes that people are talking about they're gonna be like oh yeah well, yeah farmville and, and that's all everybody's waiting for is april and you right. got, it's like i don't know right like I've, the whole spring lineup demon slayer jujutsu kaisen dr stone like they they got new ones in there like mash you know they got like all these new action high flying animes that are gonna sweep vinland saga under the rug man and it's like how vinland saga is number two number one on all these lists blows my mind because i i forgot to change my banner to tokyo revengers but tokyo revengers uh is like 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 two times better than villain saga you know what i'm saying like like I, I don't get it i don't understand it i don't get it uh it's like blows my mind but like uh chapter 74 76 are jam packed in this manga jam packed with action bro like like i wish you, you know, go in there go look at it you'll see it you'll be like what what's this like why are they showing us this man and you're just like like what is going on with these uh director man it's like i'm convinced man they're either saving it all for the end or they're like uh saving you know i don't know man they probably won't ever show it <laughs> yeah, you know or they'll show it like they what they should show everything else like a quick snippet <laughs> you know yeah. of all this happening you know to say like like i don't know man but um so if you have to give it out of five stars what would you give this episode of vinland saga um and i'll give it a three a uh, three yeah, okay. I was going three, three point five, but I'll go with three, same way I was with Tokyo. Um, it wasn't amazing. I you know, it had moments of like little action in the beginning. It moved the thread, moved the needle of okay, where we're going. You're seeing a new side of Canute that we didn't see. 
and it sets up i feel thorfinn's future now of what's going to happen with him on the farm and when canute goes marching in and takes it because he's still there and all that so it's starting to open up a new chapter so yeah 3.3 3.5 3. is where i'm at gotcha okay Wait, wait, you said three or 3.5? 3, 3. I'm gonna go three. Yeah, I'll go okay, three. okay. I heard 3.5. That's well, what I was, yeah, like. I was like, that was what I was leaning on, but I was like, nah, oh, I'm leaning on 3.5. 3. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. All right, all right, man. I would have to give it okay because I'm, I, I'm because this is the one I watch and this is the one I have to, right? Yeah. I would give <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm lying, man. I would give it a solid three as well because. It was informational. We, uh, I have to give it a little more than a three, okay? Because of the action in the beginning. We got to see Clute fight. We get to see a little understanding of his methodology of how he fights his battles and everything. Um, but it was more info than anything, you know? Like, we find out, you know, one, he has to confiscate lands. Two, he has to navigate it uh, strategically versus, you know, being blunt force and saying we have to do it like this. So, I would have to say, you know, a little bit of 3.1, 3.2 on my scale, but I ultimately have to agree with you. It was a solid three. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It was good. It was an okay. Uh, this last two episodes was okie dokie, man. Like, uh, it actually was all around, around, man. I would think it was all the anime. It's like yeah. number 11 was just like even Blue Lock was just okay it wasn't like it was really like uh breathtaking or anything like that we kind of figured you know what they were gonna do in there like you didn't have any mysteries on that and it was just like mm, okay <laughs> you know so it was it was all around okay today man like it was a very anticlimactic <laughs> weekend with uh mm -hmm. all the animes mm -hmm. around the season man so but uh that being said Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you made it this far, we appreciate everything you do for us. Uh, make sure you join us in the comments in the bottom. Let us know your thoughts. Catch us on Rumble, YouTube, um, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. We're Facebook. All of your social medias were there. Moderus Corner. Uh, check out our new uh, stuff that's coming out this week as well. Uh, we got a lot of things. Blue Lock is coming up. We're also going to be doing some more of them so that you can have that in there in your repertoire. Uh, we got some new animes coming out. Uh, coming in April, so coming in hot, all right? So you get ready for that. Uh, we're going to add a little more to our list, so please watch out for that. Uh, that being said, uh, Nick, do you got anything? Nah, man, y'all just let us know what y'all thought of the anime in the comments. Um, let us know what other animes you're thinking of us wanting to go over. We got you. Nah, I'm I think that's it, man. We're, I think we're out of it. All right, man. Thank you.